In this video I'll be unboxing the Upa Baby Cruise V2 and also assemble it. So let's get started right away. Right when you open the lid you can see over here Upa Babies has included some documents. This is the manual of the stroller and some other papers informing you about the warranty and whatnot. Now that the box is open, we can see the stroller right in the middle here, but before opening it, we'll check what accessories are included. First of all, we have the handlebar. Since this stroller is the Alice color, the handlebar itself has this leather finish. There is also a mosquito net that is included. This covers the entire seat. And there's also a rain shield included that fits right over the seat. And here we get some instruction telling you that you need to attach it on the seat and not on the frame. Now let me put the stroller aside. We'll come back to it in just a few seconds because there's some other accessories included in the box. Here we have the back wheels that come separated from the stroller. They are much bigger than the front ones. And in this last box we have the front wheels. So now let's come back to the stroller. The seat comes separated from the frame. This is how it looks. And this is how the folded frame looks. It has the same leather finish on the handles. Now since everything is out of the box, let me show you how easy it is to assemble it. Take the frame and there will be a small plastic grey clip here that you need to pull to unfold the frame. To install the front wheels is very easy. Take it in your hands and the front wheels have this little stud pointing up. This is where you need to put them. There's a hole. All you have to do is to bring them together until you hear a click. Do the same thing for the other one. Push it, hear the click and you're done. The back wheels are a bit different since you need to push them on the side of the frame. Bring them together and you're gonna hear a click and you'll know that they are secured in place. You can take the seat of the stroller and you see over there where the footrest is, there's two great buttons on each side. You need to press them at the same time Okay, so both at the same time to be able to adjust the footrest at a more comfortable position like this. Then you just have to clip the seat in place on the frame until you hear a click. The front bar of the seat just needs to get clipped on these two spots and you're done. You can adjust the height of the handle simply by pushing this gray button and releasing it when you're happy with the desired position. The canopy can be extended simply by pulling it this way. To extend it even further, there's a zip that you can unzip all around and then simply push the canopy even further down. There is an opening in the canopy so air can pass and there is even another one here to add even more ventilation. The canopy height can also be adjusted by gliding it on the frame. If you want to switch the side of the seat, it's very easy. Press on these two gray latches, turn the seat around and clip it back together on the frame. Like this. Right behind the seat, there's a gray button that if you press, you can adjust the angle. I hope this video was useful. To support my channel, you can check the Amazon links in the description to get some accessories for your Cruise V2. If not, just leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.